number of therapists have sent me pictures. This is a common theme. Therapists working with satanically abused people, trying to get their minds and, uh, back um, after all this abuse, and, and sexually abused people that have, have, have been in these mind control projects. And it's a very consistent theme that when these uh, people who've been victims of this, uh, they use a lot of drawing to try to draw out their memories. Again and again, what they draw are people with reptilian eyes. These are actually drawn by a satanically abused person. And these were sent to me um, with their permission by their therapist. Again, um, Polanski, Roman Polanski, was talking from knowledge, shall I put it, when he made that film Rosemary's Baby in the 60s with Mia Farrow. And for anyone who doesn't know about that, if you can get hold of a copy, it's worth watching. Mia Farrow is pulled in um, unknowingly because they want her to interbreed with one of these non-human entities to um, give birth to a child of the bloodline. Um, and th this satanic group get hold of her and they put her under mind control and they, um, uh, you know, impregnate her and stuff. And towards the end of the film, when she starts to realize what's going on, she um, goes into this um, apartment where um, it, it all went on. Her memories start to come back and she sees the baby she gave birth to in a um, non-conscious state, and you have a quick flash of it in the movie, and it's a reptilian baby with reptilian eyes. Well, Polanski should know. Let's put it that way. You know, you read in the Bible that, uh, you know, we're all going to land in a lake, a lake of fire, and this and that. See, that's baloney. Beside that, he said, uh, spirits now, human spirits, have the capacity now to outlive fire. He says, you don't believe it, go to India or, or, or some of those uh, countries where they have uh, uh, fire walkers. And it's done by the power of the human spirits. These people are energized by human spirits, so they can walk on those hot coals without burning themselves. Oh. 
You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. And during the initiation rites, you could hear strange cries and whispers coming from the Skull and Bones, too. Despite a lifetime of attempts to get inside, the best Rosenbaum could do was hide out on the ledge of a nearby building a few years ago to videotape a nocturnal initiation ceremony in the tomb's courtyard. The initiates are told that they are superior beings and are part of a privileged elite who use war, terror and famine to control Earth's human population. It's so sacred we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? War, terror. To control Earth's human population. Hopefully, my health will allow me to keep going until we win the battle against these satanic uh, forces that have come across uh, upon our nation and the world. You know, you'd have to take all the Secret Service people. You'd have to take up all these uh, helicopters that could be otherwise out there delivering supplies. And I think it's the, the, the wise decision now to send Secretary Powell and uh, Governor Bush and the FEMA director and whoever else went and let them look, make reports, and then provide the help that's necessary. It might be that uh, sometime in the next couple of uh, Then I said the next thing was, who is going to be the next president? Now, this is two years before he could be. Right. They said Jimmy Carter, and I said, Jimmy who? They said, well, he's the Democratic governor of Georgia, and I said, I've been voting Republican. And Paul Volcker said, son, don't worry about it. We control them both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're still planning on, the plan is to get a war started in the Middle East, and they're still planning on using a neutron bomb or a, one of the bombs that they've got developed on Israel, mm -hmm. and that's to begin uh, World War III. Um, they're going to declare an emergency, which are going to shut down everything. Then we're going to come down to the extermination, just like World War II. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose, the illumination of a thousand points of light.
Welcome back to Coast to Coast. George Norrie with you, John Rhodes. John, let's talk about these reptilians. In the biblical days, when, you know, they, they, they said the devil came, and, they, you know, the description is kind of close to some of these reptilians. Is it possible that these demons, these devils, might be the reptilians? Um, I believe entirely that that might be the case because we have to see it from their historical point of view. Um, they didn't know the term alien, or they weren't thinking of things that God could have created other than themselves. These are real. This, this isn't make-believe. These are attacks that were coming to hurt the American people again. 